Welcome back everyone to Outworld Platinum Walkthrough. In the last episode we have decided on what kind of build we want to play while we are a member of the Heroic Kingdom. I have gone over the gear I intend to use and I have acquired the skills that I want to make use of. We also made our way to Levant. In here I have off screen um, gone to all the merchants so I can buy as many gold ingots and sell as many of the items that I don't need so I can maximize on the money for the final run through the game and in this episode we are going to finally join the heroic kingdom let's go as you can see with my quick slots I have adjusted them so they may suit my needs a little more. I have dedicated one side of the skill of the quick slots to uh, defensive measures. So I have three parry abilities, pretty neat. And also the offensive ones with four attack skills. Oh, let's see. We have to talk to Queen Calixa. Let's go ahead and do that. Also, if you didn't buy the skill Simeon's Gambit for the spears and you want to do it now, ah, it's impossible. So you must be the nice speaking with you. Ah, so you must be the new one we've been informed about. I have touched upon to this. Kingdom of I've touched upon this briefly while setting up the build because I already kind of messed this up and learned this the hard way, but in case you want to use spears, it's too late now. <laughs> Never mind. Talk to Queen Calixa. Your face isn't familiar to me. Welcome to the heroic kingdom. Where our hope is to give every person the chance to do what they excel at and the chance to live the life they wish to live. Nice speaking with you. I am King Simeon and this is my Queen Calixa. My gut tells me that you're skilled in survival. I'm sure you'll be a great asset as a mercenary. We are constantly under threat. If you can help us, then we would be overjoyed to have you. Will you pledge your service to the ideals of the heroic kingdom of Levant? To help us create a place where humankind can do more than just survive? I pledge myself to the heroic kingdom. This is the turning point in my life. Am I certain I wish to pledge my life to the Heroic Kingdom of Levant? I pledge myself to the Heroic Kingdom. Excellent. The Heroic Kingdom of Levant is happy to have you, citizen. If you're looking for work, I'm sure Serene has plenty that plays well. Awesome. Ah, I just love this piece of music. I could listen to this all day long. We now have to pass three more days so that our next quest becomes available. What you could do in the meantime is run around the desert, kill a few enemies, try out your playstyle, find what suits you, or you could um, work on a few uh, unique enemies that you want to kill but what I'm going to be doing is just sleep for three days straight and yeah pass the time like that also we have joined a faction now so remember if you want to do parallel quests you can start with that right now except for I am sorry but unless you have official business here, I do not have time to spare for a visitor. Hmm. Okay, except for the blood under the sun. That's not ready yet. So you could technically 
Did Vanderwell? No, it wasn't added. Okay, you could technically go to Vanderwell, take care of that, and make the progress with the purifier quest. But I'm just going to do the bare necessities with that. So anything that needs repair. Pistol. The Maelstrom Blade. Alright, so I'm just going to sleep three days straight. I will see you when I'm well rested. Alright, the quest has become available. I have also acquired the Tenebrius Boots, so the set is now complete. Let's stock up on water. I also want to drink the soothing tea and restore some of my burned mana with that. Yeah, nice and tanky, 180, 180. Let's see what, what Serene has to say. Uh, what? I've got some work for you. I need you to run bodyguard duty for one of our ambassadors, Kirok. He's on a diplomatic mission to the city of Bergen and Merka. There's a major council meeting happening. We need... What? The Blue Chamber Collective is set to meet, and one of the issues being discussed could strike a fatal blow to our kingdom if it goes poorly. We need to make sure that doesn't happen. What's the issues? What's the issue? Oh, what's the issue? Sorry. All right, listen up. I'll try to keep this brief. Abrasor used to be a lush and fertile region with several powerful tribes living here. Then the scourge happened, between every major rival being di diverted and the scourge swarming the region. Well, look outside, you can see the results. To make things worse, one of the beasts that attacked the desert grew to near gigantic size. The, devour the devourer, we called it. The old tribes that lived here before us abandoned the region in fear of that thing. <clears throat> it was only about 24 years ago when Calixa and Simeon led an army into the desert to retake it. I was just a fresh recruit at the time. It was an impossible feat but we managed to bring down the Devourer and then purge Abrasaur of the rest of the Scourge. At last, the God of Discipline himself granted the Abrasaur Desert to Simeon and Calixa to rule as a reward. As such, the heroic kingdom has operated outside the Blue Chamber's law since the beginning. Then again. The old tribes that fled the region have a problem with that. Now that the region is safe enough to live in, they want control of it again. They refuse to recognize both of Elad's decision and the royal family's rule. They've been attacking our scouts and soldiers for years now. Since force failed, They've switched to demanding the Blue Chamber overturn Elad's decision and return the region to their control. If they get their way, we'll be thrown out. I can't let that happen. What can I do to help? We've sent Kirouac to Berg to hopefully appeal to the sanity of the Collective to make sure this doesn't happen. I've got a job for you. I need you to journey to Amirka Forest, get to Berg and make sure nothing happens to Kirouac. While you're there, You'll find him in the biggest building in the north of the city, the Blue Chamber itself. That's all. All right. That's some pretty interesting lore stuff. So, the Scourge turned the turned Abrasar into the desert. It, it appears, and Calixa and Simeon have been granted rule over the desert and Levant. Pretty interesting, pretty interesting. Right, our mission is to head to Berg. I will meet you right back at Berg. Alright. So, let's see if Roland has something to tell us. Uh, hi. Okay, thanks Roland. 
tripwire traps, iron and palladium spikes. Why not? How can I help you? Here's the yes. Let's pick up the mission from shopkeeper Pleal. Okay, there's nothing I want. Do you have any food want I want? Buy something? No. How can I help you? Our code remains, but I don't want to sell any of my stuff. I'm good. I'm good. Now let's head to the big blue chamber itself. Intercepted information that old Levin has a major plot in motion here today. Given the circumstances, I had to come in person just in case. Got a job for you. Keep an ear out for trouble. See that man over there by the stairs? He's the one who brought me this information. If there's anything you can do to make sure old Levin's claims are crushed, help him with it. Okay, hey, Kapros. Let's find Kapros then. What now? You're one of the mercenaries Sarin hired, right? Listen, I have some juicy information. Old Levant claims there's something in the archives that will convince the rest of the chamber lords in a heartbeat. I think our best chance at preventing that from happening is to get in there and find the information first. If we know what to expect, we can counter their point before they even make it. And how do you plan on getting in without anyone noticing? The only one watching the place is that holy mission champion. And I can see him leaving to take care of something outside the city as we speak. No one will notice us if we poke around the archives and get a head start. So you have basically two options. Um, one is to help him and one is not to. I'm just going to help him. It does not really impact the outcome. Um, all right, I'm in. What's the plan? Do this for me. There's some stairs that lead down below, behind the central platform. Head down there, try not to attract too much attention and I'll meet you there in a bit. It'll look too suspicious if we go both at the same time. Huh. Alright, so he's sending us down to the archives. Necropolis is what he means. And apparently there's some bandits in there. Sounds a little shady. Let's not attract too much attention. But since there will be bandits, might as well prepare for combat. And we set up. Yeah, the guns are reloaded. Let's go, let's do this. Okay, there are a few different outcomes, like I have mentioned. Um, if you want to help Kapros, go down here and defeat the bandits. You can prevent a planned attack. If you fail on defeating the bandits, you will be framed for, an, hap for a, a, an attack that will happen. And if you do not help him, there is another different outcome. If you want to make... Oh, good. The Patsy is here. Shank him and light the fuse. Okay, smells a little like a, like a setup. Uh, 
Uh, I'm not too keen on being set up on anything. Hello. Okay. Not interested in fighting? Well, I am. Junk pile. No, not too bad, not too bad. Okay, what does the log say? Kill the mercenaries inside the outpost in the burnt forest. So that's our next destination. So the, the first quest is pretty much the same one for every faction. You just approach the issue from a different from a different angle. I also want to read this. Your first priority is the destruction of the archives. Yeah, we've been here before. No, wait, we haven't done that. Your first priority is the destruction of the archive room under the blue chamber. If you cannot ensure complete destruction of the room, at least ensure that it will be inaccessible for as much time as possible. Likewise, Elda, the ambassador representing Old Levant, is to be killed on sight. Use as much ammunition as you need to. She must not survive this meeting. If possible, capture and question the Blue Chamber historian Balthasar Berthelot. If he shows any sign of supporting Old Levant's position, kill him. Use the caves within the old burial grounds. There are plenty of animals that will make short work of any evidence if he needs to be disposed of. If the opportunity arises to kidnap a chamber lord, do so. Hold them for ransom and do not kill them unless it's absolutely necessary. The old cabin and the burnt woods to the south are equipped and prepared for such an event. If it all goes well and you have the opportunity to capture Kirak as well, do so. He is to be kept alive at all costs. Once war has been declared, he is to be returned home unharmed. Be warned, Gabriella Sullivan is a suspected member of the Cryptea, the killers who oppose the Lich of the Red Moon. She will likely be forewarned by the ancestral memories that an attack is coming. Gabriella may possess powerful magic and her control over the ancestral memories will give her a great edge. Avoid her if possible and focus on the objective. If confrontation is unavoidable, use overwhelming force. All messages are to go through Commander Mentos at his forest camp. Yeah, we already know the forest camp. Whew. Dicey, dicey people. We will our, make our way to the burnt outpost. I think that's the first time that we heard that Gabriella is connected to the Ancestral Memories too, and that she's also part of the Cryptea. At least I didn't know that until now. Let's talk to her. Something wrong. Okay. Apparently she has not been warned. Also. Kapros is gone. Shady guy. Shady guy. Okay, the burnt outpost is in the south. Well, let's take the southern exit and make our way there.
No, of course they spotted. Yeah, I have my lantern on. Of course they spot me. Tourmaline, very nice, very nice. Yeah, these uh, quests for I, I just I'm just going to speed run them. Uh, I have gone through the quests in a little bit more detail on our first run through the game. Uh, so I'll just keep cutting out the, the walking. I'm just going to show you this now because I think it's a little nice to see. Okay, there are the burning men. to ignore them for now so I'll kill my light. I'll grab the palladium over here. Good. Okay, I can probably avoid that one over there as well. gear. Let's head inside. Someone's coming in. If they're not one of ours, Commander Mantis said no witnesses. Yeah, go ahead, try your luck. damage output. Hmm, but there's no one here. Okay. So the next thing to do would be to talk to Serene. Unfortunately, I forgot to head to the head into the inn in Berg to receive the uh, the Blood Under the Sun quest. There would be the first clue over here on the table. If you wanna, if you wanna do that, I would recommend you to do that before you leave Berg. Or if you did the same mistake I did, go back to Berg and get back here. I will be doing that because I'm interested in that quest in this walk in this run through the game. Um, yeah, so I will see you back at uh, Levant when we are ready to talk to Serene again. Back at Levant. What I have done in the meantime, I went back to Berg and grabbed the blood under the sun. I found the first clue in the burnt outpost, the second one in the hive prison, and the hive prison. The third one is in the slums, but we want to turn in 
tending the flame. So we are now going to talk to Cyrene. She's back at her usual spot. Oi, you! I need a report on what happened in Berg. Cyrene, where were you? Someone attacked the blue chamber mid se mid session. I know. It was a trap. I barely got out with my life. One of my agents tipped me off before the attack, and I tried to intercept their leader. And to make matters worse, I've been framed for ordering the murder of Alt Levant's ambassador. Oh. So, this could have been us. Hmm. Wait, what do you mean the murder of Alt Levant's ambassador? Oh, it's on. The ambassador was found strangled in her bed after the declaration of war was made. The chamber lords are accusing Levant of planning the attempted bombing and me for the murder. I wasn't even in Berg that night. The Blue Chamber has already sent us a declaration of war because of this mess. And a bounty was placed on her head. Oh. Even though I almost prevented the entire attack, it's clear that Levant is not responsible. Then again. There's people in the Blue Chamber Collective who have wanted us to who have wanted to put us in our place for a long time now. I'm not surprised they're being unreasonable. They could even they could even be behind the attack. I was able to find the attacker's base of operations. The people inside seem to have soldiers from Levant. We may have been infiltrated. Well, that damn it all. I'm gonna get to the bottom of this. Could old Levant have planned so far ahead? Do they have help from outside Apresar? I have nothing but questions. <sighs> All right. You're far craftier than you look, on Barto. You have a great. You were a great help out there. Here, your pay with a small bonus on top. And again. I have to take stock of the situation. Come back in a few days, and I'm sure I'll have another assignment for you. The desert rumbles with the sound of war. All right. We now have Sand Corsairs waiting for us in three days. What I will be doing in the meantime, I'll be taking care of Blood Under the Sun. And I also want to grab the two Zar Stones that are in waiting for us in the desert. So I'm going to adjust my inventory before that real quick. Okay, so blood under the sun. Let's go pick up the final clue. Nope, that's barrel man. Already done that. Over here is pigeon eye. There it is. Okay. Good. And now let's head to Serene. Tell her about the news. But I want to make sure my stats look a little bit better one more Let's see this one okay we're close to the max combat gear let's go I want to talk about the murder of Prince. You have something about the murder of Prince Jade. Don't just stand there, spill it. 
I found some evidence about the plot. I think you want to see this. <sighs> this is... I can't avoid this conclusion any longer. Prince Pietro, what in a lot's name were you thinking? Based on what we found, it seems like Prince Pietro has been plotting a coup. Against King Simeon and Queen Calixa, and that he masterminded the attack on Berg as well. It's a not no one. Not to mention he's been making use of that damn smuggler's tunnel under the slums that Baron Montgomery got built. We need to move on the pair of them. Are you ready to go now? Yes, I'm ready to come along. Where are we going? <laughs> Were you listening? We're gonna flush them out of that smuggler's tunnel. Come on, let's roll. Let's roll. Yeah, no time for chit chat, no time for bullshit. Sirene means business. Sirene means business. Okay, so we've already done this one before. So we want to head left. Get into this chamber. Here is Mr. Baron. Over here, an ornate chest. Oh, sorry about that. All right, that's that's pretty solid. So uh, we have one more. There's traps on the ground. Yes. Let's flip this lever over here. Okay, I'm going to eat some of my good food. Let's go ahead and do that. Let's talk to the Baron. Are you serious? What in old God's name are you doing in here? This is private property. I'm a damn Baron for lad's sake. Get out before I have you arrested. I should be saying that. You're an accomplice in Prince Jaden's murder. Oh dear. Oh no, they're coming for me. I wasn't expecting this so soon. 300 silver. I'll give you 300 silver if you just pretend you didn't see me. Uh, I'm not so sure about that, my guy. I'm not so sure. Uh, if you are a member of the Heroic Kingdom, like I am right now, you have the possibility to receive the uh, um the 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 player house i'm just going to quickly check if my choice here has any impact on that or not i think it doesn't but just to make sure Okay, apparently it has no impact, but I'm no one to be bribed. Judging by the stench in your little playroom down there, you've got plenty of blood on your hands. No, this only ends in one way. You, you'll never take me alive. I wasn't planning to. Die, truck spawn. <laughs> wow. Good. Now down here there's some more pressure plate traps on the ground. Also a little chest. Coral horn mask. Good, let's grab that stuff. Let's talk to Sirene. <sighs> All right, we've blocked off the other exits. Keep your eyes peeled for Prince Pietro in the Baron. Will do. Will do. Hello, bud.
Oh, let's just head straight down. Talk to my peeps over here. All right. I know when I'm beaten. Just like that? Do I look like I stand a chance against the two of you? Corner down here by the army. I have a far better chance of survival if I throw myself on the mercy of my parents, even if I was planning to kill them both. If you want to live, I hope you're willing to rat out your followers. Never. I won't let those who pledge their loyalty to me die for nothing. It's the least I can do for those who came this far for me. I may just be a murderer to you, but I have principles. I'd rather die than betray them. Why would you do this? My parents have grown soft. Old Levant is an existential threat to us, and they still want to welcome their people to join us. And they still treat the Blue Chamber Collective like equals. We were not elected by simple humans. We were anointed by kings and queens by a god. My, my brother was too nosy. It was nothing personal. He would have found out about my plot to kill Calixa and Simeon eventually. And I needed to be secure in the knowledge that I would be the only true heir of Levan's throne. You're lucky you're worth more alive. I'd kill you myself. I won't resist. I'm not stupid. Take me in, Cyrene. Gladly. For the record. I'm sorry it turned out this way, Pietro. You're not who I thought you were. As for you, Umbarto, good work. My men will take Pietro into custody. The heroic kingdom is in your debt. I will personally report your impact to Kim Simeon himself and see to it that he rewards you adequately. You also killed Baron Montgomery, I hear. <laughs> I uh, won't ask for the details. As far as I'm concerned, the number of corpses in that torture room more than merits his death. I report you killing him as self-defense and leave it at that. Good work. Alrighty, alrighty. Now we want to go ahead and talk to Calixa. Also, if you remember, what to oh boy. sell off all your items, buy all the gold ingots before you talk to Kalixa, because she, the the um, result of the conversation will make the inventory of the merchants respawn. So, in case you haven't done that, just like me, make sure you go ahead and do just that. Okay, I just sold all my stuff, bought all the ingots. Let's go ahead and talk to Kalixa for our reward. Cyrene told us about your work bringing down Pietro's plot against us. Thank you for bringing his terrible ambitions to an end. What will happen to Prince Pietro now? An example must be made of him. That's what the firing squad is for. It breaks my heart, but I must put the good of Levant above my feelings. He cannot be allowed to live after what he's done. Not to mention he was planning to kill us both. We raised him to be better than this. This weighs on my mind. What about the Baron? I wish you could have taken him alive, but dead is better than roaming free. It appears he was putting pressure on many of our merchants as well. You deserve this! Okay, and they grant us Baron Montgomery's manor as a reward. Excellent! Great. So we now have acquired our first house. 
or we are able to at least. Our house is next to Izan, if my memory serves me well. So let's head to the northwestern part of the city. And my memory fails me. <laughs> Good. Then it must be where the blacksmith is. There's a servant, I think. House Seller Miriam. Welcome to the home of the uh, former Baron. It's up for sale if you can afford it. Oh, you're in Barto, right? Her Majesty informed me that she's granted you the house as a reward for your work. Here's your key. Enjoy your new home. I do appreciate that. We didn't receive a key, but we can now enter the player house. And we now have our own majestic home. Isn't that great? Right. So. I am going to end the episode here. I hope you have fun enjoying your little home and exploring it. In the meantime, what I will be doing off screen is go on another shopping spree. I will run through the desert, grab the two sar stones. We already have done that on video, so you should already know where to go and what to do. Spoiler alert, electric lab, the lever puzzle, and also finish the treasure hunt quest. Hashtag abandoned docs. So, I thank you all for watching. I hope you enjoyed and I will see you in the next one. Win be at your back, my friend. <laughs>